Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to graph some data and then we're going to fit a regression line to it and talk about what the different numbers represent. So I have a set of data already. I'm going to paste in here. Okay, so this is from my experiment that I did earlier. Okay, on Excel, what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Options, add-ins and click the analysis tool pack and we're going to make sure that it's installed on your computer it's free it doesn't cost anything it's already in there okay now first thing we're going to do is we'll go up to data which is already clicked data analysis I'm going to preform a regression equation so that should be down here somewhere so regression, okay, your Y input, click them, go to your X input, click that. Your Y in sh input should be your uh, independent variable and your X input, X input should be your dependent variable. Uh, our 95% confidence level, that's fine, we're going to hit OK. And on a different sheet I think, yeah, sheet 4, it, it spits out your R squared statistics or all your regression statistics so on this this is showing that our R squared value is right around 0.66 which is pretty good mathematically not bad uh, that means that the X and Y variable they you can determine one from the other which is a which means that it's a parametric group of data um, from here if we come down here and look, if we ran an equation, this would be our line, which we'll do that in just a second. That'll be our intercept right there, and that would be our slope. So the slope of the line would be 0.69. Here's confidence intervals, and I'm pretty sure these are repeated, so if you wanted to, you could just delete those. Yeah, those are the same thing. So um, now we're going to go back to our data and we're going to run we're going to make a chart out of it so i'm going to select this data right here i'm going to go to insert scatter plot scatter plot and there's a scatter plot that we get from that set of data uh, delete that okay and in order to put a best fit line we're going to click on one of the data points we're going to go to add a trend line all right, for this particular one, we're going to assume that it's linear. So on that, and we're going to display the equation on the chart. So there it goes. There's our equation, and there's our best fit. There's our best fit line, assuming that it was linear. Now, if you want to do something different, if you thought that this would be some other kind of equation, you could do that too. You could click it, right-click again, go to Add Trend Line and say we thought that it was going to be a uh, logarithmic function so we click logarithmic same thing display equation on chart close and it gives us a, logarith a logarithmic regression equation right here uh, see the different equations that we got uh, now in this particular one that would be our it's on our intercept because it, since it's a logarithmic equation, it never crosses the axis. It should just go, it can continue on down in here into infinity, I guess, and never hit the y-axis. So it's not our intercept. But uh, this would be our slope. This tells us where, this tells us where the, or what the shape of the line is going to be. Um, and that's all I got. All right, thank you.